Hey guys, what's going on? USAF Mobius here, just doing a quick review and short tutorial on a product that I found that I enjoyed. It was called Gear Skin Adhesive Fabric. Most of the time whenever I create a review, it's because I was trying to find something similar on the internet before I purchased a product and I wasn't able to find something. So that's the same with this one. I was looking for something about a uh, gear skin before I purchased it and I didn't really find much on the internet that was really helpful, so I decided to create my own. Now this is not to be confused with gear skins with an S at the end on Amazon.com. This is more of a vinyl product and not exactly what I was looking for. What I needed and what I was looking for was a cloth material made out of Cordura that would be able to go onto my holsters. I have a lot of the older STX holsters sitting around from Safariland and they have the high gloss black material on them and what I was trying to do was bring them to the more modern Cordura wrap holsters that Safariland is selling right now. This product comes from www.gearskin.eu and it actually ships out from Croatia. They have quite a few camo patterns and color options on their website. They might not all be in stock, but they do have them there. And since this product does ship straight from Croatia, it actually took almost about three weeks, if not a little bit longer, to get to me. They have a couple different size options when you order them, compact, regular, extra large, and I think a few more. The ones that I ordered were regular, and each one has enough to wrap at least three holsters. But of course you could use this product for whatever you'd like. It's an adhesive, so it'll stick to almost anything. It's not strictly limited to just holsters. To get the material sized and cut for whatever you're gonna use it for, you don't need much. I just use scissors, uh, an X-Acto knife, and uh, something I don't have pictured here was a heat gun. Their website states that the material is reusable, so you could pull off of one item and place it onto another. Uh, the website also says, it's kind of hard to find on there, but it states that it cures faster and stronger if you use heat. Here's how I'm wrapping mine. I have the material here. I cut off the section I'm gonna use. Uh, as you can see, it's quite a bit of material. There's almost three sections of it, and there's extra two that I'm not gonna use. It's almost, like I said, enough to wrap at least three holsters. Um, what I'm planning on doing is rolling the holster into it just like this, uh, marking the excess material that I'm gonna have and cut it off with the X-Acto knife or the scissors. So speeding up the video here, there's a couple things you could do to help the adhesive stick a little better, which is obviously take off any hardware that you have on the holster so it's not sticking to the hardware, it's sticking only to the holster itself. Another thing that I do is I wipe down the holster really good here in a bit with uh, just a Clorox wipe, anything to get any excess dirt, dust, anything that's on your holster that the adhesive will stick to rather than the holster itself. It just helps everything stick a little bit better. The adhesive on this is really strong. It's actually uh, pretty sturdy and will stick to anything that you have pretty well. My game plan for this is to slowly wrap it onto the holster. I'm gonna have the lines on the back side, so on the front, you won't see where the material splits. Um, another important thing when you're doing this is to use maybe any kind of tool that you can, uh, something preferably not sharp, to make sure you cover in all the creases. The, the more this is flushed up against the material, the better it will stick. If there's any air bubbles or any gaps between this and the material, it just won't really hold very well. So I'm just using like a hex wrench or my fingers or anything to just push it into every crevice and crack. Another thing that you should do to help the material stick better is cut around where the hardware goes into. You could simply just poke a hole in it if you want, which I did in a couple spots, but it helps if you just cut the material off because then you could really help it stick to the holster itself and not where the hardware goes. The more that hardware moves, the more the holster will come off. If you do this, this won't be the case. So all I did, as you can see, I simply grabbed an X-Acto knife, I cut off the extra material, and then I could wrap it around the base of the hardware mount, not onto the hardware itself. Uh, sometimes you'll get these little stray materials, which I didn't really like, but you just simply pull it off and that'll be it. So from here, all I'm planning on doing is continuing the process, slowly wrapping around, uh, cutting any reliefs around any hardware points or mounts that I have, and continuing to keep it flush against the material. And then at the end, I'll mark all the excess material and cut it off, and we'll see what it looks like. All right, guys, guys so here's my finished product. Uh, I wrapped two different holsters. This is a SIG 226. 
Um, I wrap this one in black. It's just that uh, initially it starts off as that high gloss STX ALS holster. And this is the final product after I've wrapped it in the Gear Skins black Cordura wrap. So that one came out pretty good. And here's the one that they have in their V camo, which is pretty much their multi cam. So it came out uh, pretty good as long as you kind of you're real careful about it and you clip together nice and slow. I had to leave a spot open right here for the ALS. And then I attached a G code uh, quick to attach to it. And that's what the back looks like. You probably want to make it so everything lines up off the back. And the front is one nice and smooth piece. Um, it slides in there pretty well. No major issues with it. Holds good and it won't come out. And the ALS activates nice and quick. So that's what they look like. Like I said, I think they came out pretty good. Better than trying to resell my ALS holsters just to go buy already pre wrapped Safari Land Cordura ones. So, like I said, I had a couple of these and I wanted them to be camo wrapped and figured gear skins would work. And they look pretty good, I think, for uh, me not having to go sell my old ones and then drop another 60 to 100 bucks just to get them pre-camo wrapped. In case you guys haven't seen these, these are G-code, quick detach. You can just throw them on there and swap them as you want. Here's the cut extra pieces that I had laying around. I put them on a tissue paper and decided to test its water resistance. As you can see, pieces that are even layered on top of each other still are very water resistant and rolled right off there and it did not go in between the cracks uh, between the cuts of the material. Very water resistant, very good material. I haven't really had the chance to field test the material so much. Uh, I, I use my gear pretty hard. I'm not soft on my gear, but I definitely don't crawl through the mud or go on long hikes with it. So I can't really say I could battle test it or anything crazy. It's just uh, pretty much light wear is the most I'm going to do on it. It seems a little like it'll hold up to that. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope it helped out if you're looking at using any kind of adhesive wrap on some of your gear. If you have any questions or comments, leave them down below. Thanks, guys.